up guys we are back on the 73 Datsun 240Z all right what we're planning on doing today is um, well we removed the valve cover already uh, we're gonna be putting the valve cover into our new sandblasting cabinet to see what kind of finish that we can get out of it um, we'll be uh, cleaning this up quite a bit replacing the water pump uh, painting the whole front timing cover side masking things off so we can get this ready to to be painted that um, factory Nissan blue that they used to have be removing the thermostat housing uh, so I can go ahead and put that in the blast cabinet as well uh, fuel pump is new um, this thing has been sitting for quite a few years and it actually looks great awesome no pitting no, no anything very good still shiny for the most part I do remember when I did purchase my 240Z with this engine, uh, the original owner did mention that he did just do the timing chain service on it. Uh, like I said, he did replace the fuel pump. Uh, he replaced the seals on it. So uh, it, looks, it looks good. I mean, it did make it all the way up from um, Medford, Oregon, all the way down here. Drove it for a little while, removed it out, ran into um, our good friend, Mr. Gordon. And then now this engine will live on in this body. So we're going to go ahead and uh, tear that down and uh, go ahead and fire up our compressor so we can see what kind of finish we get on the valve cover. All right, guys, I have the valve cover in the blast cabinet. I was just waiting for the compressor to fully charge up there. Um, we are using a, a medium grit number 10 glass bead. Uh, aluminum oxide I believe so and it does leave a nice finish on it I did already hit this one with the sandblaster and it, let me focus it there it comes out it almost looks like I painted it like in a like with aluminum paint but that's the natural um, matte shine right there very good in the meanwhile Jer Jericho is prepping the block so we can go ahead and mask everything off and paint that so uh, Hopefully in, within an hour or so, we should be, see a big transformation on this engine already. All right, guys, we just got it out of the blast cabinet. Um, uh, you know what? I don't think the blast media that we're using right now is, is, is coarse enough to take out some of these deep scratches, but it did etch it really well. It did take off most of that hard core paint right here. I can't even scrape it. I got to scrape that off with a razor, but, um, well, we just, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and repaint it the, the original um, metallic uh, silver color. So, yeah, you can see this, there's a lot of, like, deep, see the focus here? Yeah, there's a lot of, like, deep scratches there. So, and obviously the sandblaster can only do so much, but it did do a really good job at etching, at least. So that way the, the paint will stick a lot better. So, very good. And then... My camera going out of focus so much. Uh, Jericho has the uh, head masked off right there. We're just gonna we're gonna actually start with the front part, cleaning up the front part and painting that, and then we'll mask that off after it dries, and then we'll go ahead and uh, paint all that uh, that blue color right there. So, all right, let's see how it's gonna turn out. All right, guys, and uh, there we go. I used a, a metal cast uh, colored paint and. It looks really good and then I hit it with a with a high temp clear as well so it actually looks to me it looks like a brand new valve cover like we just bought it so <laughs> at least close enough so and here's the block see everything is blue on block wise there we go we do have the new freeze plugs for it like I said so I think once we pop those in it's really gonna make it look extra nice extra new Look like we just bought the car back in 1971. <laughs> so we also uh, painted the transmission too. <laughs> so that looks, that one, that came out pretty good too. So, okay, awesome. Anyway, so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna start taking off all the, the masking. Um, so we can go ahead and reinstall the valve cover, um, pop in the, the freeze plugs. It should be about dry about now. We've been waiting now for probably about 30 minutes. Uh, hopefully it's dry enough maybe wait a little bit longer take the masking off the front we did already paint that black so that's all set so um 
Yeah, and then we got to see what we're going to do about the intake manifold. Uh, I'm thinking about uh, scuffing that one up too, and uh, probably painting that that metal cast as well, just so it looks just so it looks brand new. Uh, other than that, I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but might as well since we have it out before we install it. So, cool. We do have the new hardware as well for the the studs, studs and bolts for the intake and header. And as well as new gaskets, um, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the thermostat housing too. Went ahead and painted the engine mount brackets black as well. Dipstick. All right. All right, cool. So what do you think? What, the stud? The stud. It's right here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, cool. Now, unwrapping time. Unwrapping time. All right. We did finally get it all together, and it looks really nice. Gotta get a new oil filter for that. It's okay. Put the new freeze plugs in. Get the valve cover installed. Get nice. Look at the front cover. New water pumps on. Really nice. Getting there. Getting there. Very good. New new thermostat. Awesome. Uh, so what do you think? Good. Right. <laughs> what do you think? Rad. Okay. <laughs> Not being sarcastic at all. Okay. <laughs> that kid, man. All right. So cool. Blast cabinet does great. Got this from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'm probably gonna look into getting um, maybe a more coarse media, so that way um, it can really strip this thing all the way down next time if I need to. Uh, take the paint or rust off of anything. It's all good so I guess the next next step now is to Or on the next time we work on this we're gonna go ahead and put the flywheel on the clutch on and we're gonna go ahead and put the Always somebody huh? Always somebody <laughs> So clutch and flywheel and then we're gonna go ahead and make the transmission onto there So that way we can go ahead and finally finally install her so We'll be bringing this out first and cleaning up the, the engine bay. So that way it really complement itself when it's in there. Everything will look nice and clean, nice and new. And then we can start wiring it up and uh, installing the dash on it. I haven't done one of those in a very, very long time. So uh, we do, over there in the corner, we do have a, br uh, well, a totally restored dash for this. So um, we'll get to that next time. But uh, for sure, very excited. Made a lot of progress. Engine is pretty much prepped and ready. So that's about it. So like always, like, subscribe, leave any comment you have below or let your hate flow. <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody.